Hello, this is Mukul Chimote from Astute uh, Academy. I'm Executive Director for Astute Career Counseling Academy. So basically, we are a United States uh, organization having our offices in India and Mumbai, Pune, and uh, uh, Nagpur region. Uh, our office in the uh, United States is in Chicago. Um, we are working since last 30 years for uh, um, guiding the students for various career paths. We are guiding the students right from 9 to PhD. We are providing one group solutions for complete medical PG programs. So today I am going to speak regarding uh, one fantastic uh, medical PG program in the United States that is Master of Physician Associate program, which is without uh, USMLE route. You can practice uh, in the United States. So uh, I will share the PPT with you with a brief information. So basically, uh, medical PG in United States. So two programs are uh, there in United States. One is the uh, residency program, which is the, through the USMLA route. And another program is physician associate program, the non-USMLA route to practice medicine in United States. So I will be giving the brief information. Um, Astute Academy Incorporation, we started our operations 30 years back. And uh, we are a USA corporation with center at Chicago. Uh, we have affiliated residency hospitals with a team of doctors in the New Jersey area. Uh, we are a group of academicians. We don't represent any of the universities. And we don't work on commissions. We are totally student-centric academy. So basically, Dr. Donald C. Martin, who is the ex-dean of Columbia University, he is our uh, chief uh, of the advisor board in the United States. He has more than 40 years of experience. And he was the dean for University of Chicago, which has given highest number of uh, Nobel laureates to the world. He was also an admission dean for the uh, University of uh, uh, Columbia University and Booth School of Management. So basically, uh, a lot of... Uh, experienced team is handling the complete admission process and guiding the students for various programs. Now, USA, two programs are there. One is the residency program, which you all know through the USMLD route. And another is the Master of Physician Associate program, the non-USMLD route. So, Physician Associate program, so this profession, because uh, Physician Associate is a licensed clinician in the United States uh, uh, who practices in various specializations. This profession was established in 1967 in the United States. Uh, currently, approximately 7,800, uh, unlike 78,700 physician associates are working in the United States. PAs have more than 500 million patient interactions per year. Um, physician associate, uh, around 308 PA programs are there across 175 universities. Um, the duration uh, for this program, most of the programs is, uh, is uh, it around 27 months. Uh, some specializations require three academic years also. Uh, you will be getting the master's degree. Uh, it also provides you 2,000 hours of clinical rotations in various uh, uh, across the streams. Uh, now the licensing examination is PANSE. That is called as PANSE Physician Associate National Certification Examination. Uh, which you will be clearing, appearing after uh, completing the PA course. Uh, after clearing the PANSA examination, you will get license to practice as a physician associate in the United States. Uh, now, PAs pra uh, 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 practice in various work settings, 50.8% uh, in OPDs, 36.7% in hospitals, 4.5% in urgent care uh, centers, 52.4% in other specializations. Uh, PAs practice medicine in all specialties, are uh, um, 27.8 in surgical subspecialties, 26.4 in other specialization, 20.1 in primary care, 13.2 in internal medicine subspecialties, uh, 7.4 in emergency medicine, 3.4 uh, in uh, generalized practice they do, and 1.7 in pediatric subspecialties. Um, so PAs uh, specific duties depend on the setting in which they work their level of experience and their speciality and their uh, the state laws. So basically, uh, PAs take medical histories, they conduct physical exams, diagnose and treat the illness, order and interpret the test, develop treatment plans, prescribe the medications, 
uh, provide the counseling sessions for preventive care to the uh, patients, perform procedures, assist in surgeries, make rounds in the hospitals and nursing homes. They also are, uh, can do the clinical research. So uh, basically, uh, PAs can uh, work uh, in all the uh, medical settings in across 50 states in United States, including the District of Columbia. They work in uh, hospitals, medical offices, community health centers, nursing homes, retail clinics, educational facilities, workplace clinics, and correctional institutions. PAs also uh, serve in the national uniform services and work for uh, other federal government agencies such as Department of Veteran Affairs. So physician associate is uh, available across uh, the international medical graduate can apply to 175 universities. The duration for this program is 24 to 36 months. Uh, one uh, very good information for you is that he, according to the list, latest uh, news reports by the US News and World uh, Report 2024, uh, PA's, uh, PA program has been ranked fifth amongst the top 100 jobs in the United States. Best healthcare job, uh, it is uh, ranked second in the best healthcare job list. Uh, it is for, uh, ranked fourth among the top STEM jobs in the United States. So very great profession, great career opportunities. Physician associates basically have the starting salaries at around $1,25,000 to $2,000 per year. The total budget for this program uh, varies from university to university. The fees is at around $30,000 to $50,000 per annum. And uh, the total budget can be between 80 lakhs to 1.25 crores. Uh, program highlights are amongst the top three professions in United States, very high job opportunities. Um, uh, as, as per the uh, news reports, till uh, 2032, average growth rate for the profession is uh, expected to be 28% per annum. Uh, it is the best thing is that it is a non-cap H1B visa and speedier green card processing. It is a non-cap H1B visa for the PAs. Uh, during the program, the students can do the curriculum practical trainings and earn their living. They can take up like practical paid internships in the CPTs. They can also, um, according to the STEM laws, they can, the uh, as, uh, as the PAs are under the STEM courses, they can have the optional practical trainings of three years post completion of their masters. They can have the full-time role in hospitals and then they can apply for the H1B work visa, long-term visas. Uh, very prestigious jobs, uh, salaries one lakh twenty five thousand dollars to two lakh dollars per annum. Uh, now students, uh, there is a great opportunity for students. You know the prerequisites, which is a uh, uh, one of the parameters of getting uh, admit in the PAs, can be completed at a very very affordable cost in India through the online mode from the accredited United States universities. Lot of scholarships and education loans are available. The scholarships are based on your academic and non-academic profile and overall your score in the G, uh, GPAs, in the prerequisites, uh, GRE scores, your interviews, performances. Uh, the prerequisites, uh, every student after completion of the their degree programs, um, uh, they will have to do the best evaluation and they will be completing the prerequisites. They have to score around 3.5 GPA in each subject anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, microbiology, chemistry, organic chemistry, genetics, uh, medical terminology, psychology, statistics, healthcare experience. These are the subjects where you will be com completing around 48 credits. Uh, six are non-mandatory to around 42 to 48 credits. The students will have to complete with 3.5 GPA um, uh, score in each subject. The level of the syllabus is different. Level of the subject uh, uh, is different. Uh, 100 level, 200 level, 300 level anatomy subjects are there or physiology is there. So we need to match with the uh, levels in the United States. Uh, basically, some standardized examinations the student will have to appear. That is GRE. He has to score around 300 marks, 300 plus marks. TOEFL examination uh, need more than 100 marks. CASPER, which tells the behavioral tendency of the applicants. It is for basically on the medical ethics. So that examination is there. PA CAT which test, uh, it is a test of evidence-based assessment of academic preparedness. So, uh, at interviews, which PA interviews, which is very, very important. So, 
and every bachelor student must do the vest evaluation to convert your uh, marks into the us gpa uh, now who are eligible basically us system is all about the credits uh, it is most flexible uh, academic system in the world so uh, here the students uh, who, are, who are having the biology background uh, biology graduates or paramedical graduates uh, or ayurveda bhms they can also think about joining the pa course by completing the required parameters mbba students can surely take this medical pg program uh, great opportunity uh, and uh, you can uh, do the pg without giving the us mbba that is the great part with great employment opportunities even uh, the mbba students simultaneously surely after completion of the pa program their profile will get upgraded and they can uh, simultaneously uh, try for the residency program after completion of the pa program so that will surely give a value addition to your profile because already you will be having a licensing degree license to practice in united states so uh, uh, all the specializations are available right from primary care family medicine internal medicine pediatrics internal medicine sub specialties cardiology critical care endocrinology gastroenterology hematology and oncology infectious disease nephrology neurology pulmonology uh, rheumatology all these specializations are available uh, pa's most popular specialties wide wide range of specialties are available so emergency medicine pediatric emergency medicine other specialties obstetrics and gynecology ophthalmology psychiatry radiology pain management dermat genetics allergy and immunology even the surgical sub specialties like cardiovascular and cardiothoracic bariatric surgery colon and rectal surgery general surgery neurology oncology surgery orthopedic surgery um, transplant surgery all these specializations are available uh, basically uh, students who have completed the mbbs or their graduation uh, they can uh, take a one year of uh, complete they should devote around 10 to one year 10 months or one year of time for completion of the all the parameters for completing the prerequisites uh, here in india to the accredited uh, us universities in an online mode uh, uh, students who are in internships or have completed a degree they can also perceive they should uh, take up the one year time to build up their profile academic non-academic profile and to complete the prerequisite part uh, so now again the students who are into the second or third year of their graduations many students are perceiving foreign medical graduate uh, uh, studies in different countries like russia china and different countries so they can also start to complete the prerequisites from second and third year of their um, program undergraduate program and so that by the time they complete their uh, uh, undergraduate program they have all the parameters done for the pa program uh, and uh, the, uh, another is uh, five years of integrated PA program is available. Means if anybody is wants to directly go to the United States, so he can go for five years of integrated program pre PA plus PA. Even there is a six years of integrated program after twelve to have a license to practice as a physician associate in United States. To after twelve, rather than going to other countries like Russia and China, you can directly go to United States for six years and have a license to practice as a physician associates generally uh, uh, admissions are in the month of january march and august so depending on your uh, uh, completion of parameters you can target the next admission cycle uh, we handle complete end-to-end uh, -end processes we guide you for the prerequisite part a visa part um, the major thing is that we train you with the pa interviews our us team will be training you with the pa interviews we help you with the uh, enhancement of your profile um, uh, complete university shortlisting it is very very competitive program very less number of seats are there per program so we need to really match your profile with the university requirements and accordingly we shortlist the universities and apply to the various universities uh, we take complete follow up with the universities we ed, ed, we help with the editing of the admission essays and uh, uh, each and every uh, pre uh, pre departure and post departure help uh, we also provide you with that uh, along with the visa assistance so uh, great program uh, you surely can 
uh, think about this program and uh, lot of uh, financial uh, scholarship opportunities are there uh, easy bank loans are available for you we also help you with the uh, uh, bank finances uh, or we also help you for getting the scholarships we we cannot promise you scholarship but we really help you uh, for the scholarships also um, you can do the teacher assistantship or research assistantship in united states um, post completion of the pa program uh, you can basically uh, also do the phd programs you can do the pa residency programs also you can also do the research fellowships after completion of the pa program so uh, for uh, more information you surely you can connect with me on the given numbers you can uh, take a screenshot for this uh, you can uh, also visit our websites and uh, book a one on one appointment with me uh, thank you very much wish you all the best thank you